Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm always happy you're here with me. And today is no different. We're just going to have a play with what's on my desk, a little craft and chat. I don't have a specific, well, I kind of sort of do. I want to make some belly bands and I want to make them out of something that's kind of unusual. So before we get started, I want to say welcome to all of my brand new subscribers, as well as to all of my longtime friends who hang out with with me and craft with me and chat with me and and are so patient with me I love you all hugs and kisses you guys so today we're going to work with a little different product um, they are what are you, they're called um, a knife and fork bag they're from Tio world um, I got them on um, Amazon and I just put in knife and fork paper craft paper bag and this is what came up when I put the name of the product in it didn't come up at all on Amazon so I don't don't put that in because that didn't come up but the the 100% craft bags knife and fork uh, came up they're 2.75 by 10 inches little tall for a journal but you can always cut it off to your height of the journal that you're working with I will probably work with the full size. I just won't decorate up here. I'll only decorate probably up to nine inches. Now, let me see where that would be on these wonderful paper bags. Um, yeah, nine inches is, is almost to the very top up here. If I only wanted them, let's say eight inches, then it's right to here. So I can either cut this off at the top or I can leave it or I could fold it down and then, you know, glue it right here. Um, I could fold it down up here to give it a, you know, a firmer top or fold it back. That would be easier to, to use, you know, and they are gusseted. You can either close the gusset. I'm going to leave my gusset open, um, I think. And we're going to use some of the scraps that are on my desk from different projects and, um, to cover them and so these are a nice size for a belly belly band in a journal i don't know if i have a journal i can pull out to show you where it would go i have lots of journals in the works so don't, don't get me wrong but um i don't know let me see <clears throat> here's one i'm working on so this would go on the page and you would just cut it down to fit. Now, let's see if this would be like I was thinking. Yeah, see, if you just fold that back and glued it on and then glued it here, you can open this and put a number of uh, skinny tags. And then you would have the belly band. Let's see, do I have anything we can just, um, you know, you would have the belly band to put something in, okay? So um, that's kind of what I had in mind. So what I wanna do is decorate those up today. So let me move this journal. I need to finish this journal. It, um, it's actually calling me. <laughs> so I need to get it done. What, what it is, is it's pretty much done. I just need to go back and add some laces and, and pretties. You know, I, I, I just left it a little too plain, you know, for my liking. So um, I'm thinking I want to cover them. I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to cut a pile of scraps. I grabbed my little scrap bucket and pulled these out. So I'm going to kind of move these off to the side a little bit. You're still going to see them a little, but what I want to do is I want to cover this up. So I probably will make everything right around eight inches tall, I think, to cover. And I don't want, let's see, do I want it kind of, I kind of do, kind of torn looking. So we'll give this a shot. You know, I'm not, not my favorite thing. So how are all of you? What are you up to? What's new? Anything exciting? What's happening? Weddings, baby showers, birthdays, anniversaries, anything great going on? Making any journals? Anybody making any journals or working on any journals? I, I know some of you are working on scrapbooks. I think somebody told me they were doing two or three scrapbooks for the grandchildren, which is awesome. Love scrapbooking. That's how I started out. And then I went on to mixed media. Now, 
that's a bit short up there. So if I want to not have to worry about it, I think what I want to do is just keep my height. So let me get my pencil out and see what's on my desk. I wasn't sure if this is what I was going to do today or not. Um, I was really undecided as to what I wanted to do. I don't have a line to measure by here. Where'd it go? I lost it. I don't know if it's going to trick it or straight. Yay, more goodness for my scrap bucket. Yeah, that seems like it's fine. I think I want this side so that we have some plain to work with, maybe, or do I want it all writing? Hmm. Um, I see I've got some not so great bits there. I don't know if I can fix that. Let me see if I can try. Let me see. So I hope you're all having a, this should be Friday for you, all having a fabulous Friday and that you're going to have a wonderful weekend coming up. Um, what are we doing this weekend? Oh, it's Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. in memory of our, our loved ones. Um, we try to remember those that we have lost to the war or in service to our country is technically what Memorial Day is. So, okay, so I said this was 2.75, I believe. Yeah. Let's see if I could do this. All right, let's see if that will cover it. Because I just want a base, and then we'll add lace and other things to it. But I felt like I really wanted some kind of a base here. Still a little too thick. I'm not having as much luck with the... Um, I kind of wanted to leave a little bit of an edge, but... You know what? I'm going to end up fussing with this the whole entire day and get nothing done. So, I'm done with that. We'll get out our deco edge cutter from Tim Holtz, which is a lot nicer looking. And let's create, I want to create three of these. I, I seem to have this need to create in thirds. I'm not sure what the deal is that lately, but I want to, I'm sure that's not wide enough anymore. But I can put it on one side and just, you know, fix the bottom of this got an issue. Okay. All right. I think that, that will work. So hopefully those of you who are in the U.S., it's a three-day weekend for all of you. So um, three days off from work. Kind of like the bank holidays they have in England. All right. I'm just sort of checking for each size of bag because I'm thinking I can just do like Put the bases on and then we can go back and, you know, decorate each one. What am I looking for? Glue. Yes, glue. Glue is good. We like glue, right? So I'm going to... I'm using the fabric tack because it does not wrinkle the... There's no water in it. And these little bags, if they... If there's moisture, like water, as an ingredient in the glue that you're, whoops, not that one, in the glue that you're, upside down, try this again, in the glue that you're using, mm, shoot, I just realized I want to ink the edges. Maybe I could do it quickly um, before my glue becomes cement on there. Move this. So what are you guys doing for your Memorial Day weekend? I don't think we're doing anything. Um, Oh, we have our granddaughters on Saturday, but after that, I don't know. 
I don't think because my son-in-law will be coming back from his treatments, I don't think we'll see our daughter for barbecue or anything. Probably just be my husband and I hanging out at the house as usual. Nothing exciting. We just had an exciting time with our son and his family, so that was good. That, that's okay. That kind of takes care of it, you know? Now, let me see. That's the little one. Let's use the bigger one. Let's get this inked up, too. I love the way that this a parchment um, printer paper uh, grabs the ink. I love the way it ages up and inks up and kind of looks old and See, I wrinkled it, and then when you go like that, it just kind of ages it up if you want to age. Look, I don't know. I thought one of them I might, might want to look a little more old than the others. A little more aged, a little more history. Um, in my last video, I shared with you my lace snippet boxes, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and do any. I want to do some. I want to make a whole bunch of lacy stuff that I can use on all my bits and pieces, so speed up my process a little bit. I'm getting very close to... Uh, starting a couple of projects and I also need to finish a couple of projects as I was just showing you hmm. right and I'm not worried about this going all the way to the bottom or no I must have missed down here because I see yeah I did there we go let me see Okay, we go like this. We could straighten that out just a little bit. When I'm sure that glue's a little more dry, I will. Now I want to put something else down the side here. I could do, I'm thinking I like this kind of going sideways like that. And then I would put some like lace at the bottom and maybe something else going down here. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna grab my, my tray of goodness, my scrap tray. I call it my tray of goodness. Um, hmm, that will work. That will work. That's on the floor next to me because it's easiest, right? The only thing is I want it to have kind of a rough edge. Let's see how tall do we want well I think if we take off we'll definitely want to take off the white let's let's do that first and then we will see how long we need to cut it let's see. I don't really have a specific plan for these I just know I wanted to make some I saw hmm, who did I see make these let me think for a minute my memory's awful not because I don't want to share, I just really don't have good good memory lately. It's really starting to make me nervous. Try not to sweat over it too much. Doctor says it's lack of sleep and too much, and then the pain meds I'm on are making me not have very good memory these days. I think I'm gonna put that cutter literally right next to me. And I'm going to ink this, and then I'm going to ink this. And this. Now, I'm usually pretty careful about divulging a lot of information, family information, personal and private stuff that doesn't have to do with me directly, but I do want you all to please have good thoughts and say lots of prayers for Jolene and her husband, Stephen, who is going through treatments. Things are rough right now, and we have the girls a lot, and so if you would keep a good thought for all of us, we're going through a very difficult time. Things are pretty critical at the moment and I don't say a lot because the girls also watch these videos so I can't really say tons but 
just keep us all in your thoughts and prayers and um, hope that we can get through this. So, oh dear, what is this? <laughs> Hello? Glue hair has attacked my, what was I doing? What was I gluing? Oh, I was gluing this when that little piece of hair, I just refilled this glue too. I mean, I do use it a lot. I had to get order some more. I mean, but it works the best with these bags. Honestly, it does. Um, I just find every other glue that I tried, I just got a wrinkled up mess that I really wasn't happy with. So I'm kind of leaving a little bit of an edge top and bottom. I can put lace and stuff there is what I'm thinking. That's my, my whole thought process. This was a scrap that has ended up being something I'm going to use. Oh, just glued my thumb. Alrighty. I am really trying to keep the stuff off my thumb because it's splitting and cracking pretty badly from glues and cleaners and Okay, let me get a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here and let's do that. Okay. And then, you know, I've inked up this one. You know, that's glued itself down pretty good. I went to move that and it's not moving. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm also thinking one of these may go in pink. I can always add the pink if I need it. I'll use, you know, just whatever little bits are here. I'm not going to bother doing anything back here because that is going to be um, glued down. Well, glued down at the ends and it's going to be a belly band. So you're not going to see that side at all. I am inking it up just a tad. Like I said, I don't know how high I will go on any of this. So let's see, I've already done that one. I do that one and I did that one. Okay, we're good. Did I get all the corners? I don't know why I'm having so many trouble with corners today. Maybe my glasses need cleaning. So I'm gonna be able to see that well. There we go. There we are. There we go. Goodness gracious, glue hair everywhere. It's bad enough mine's falling out. Okay. All right, so we have three lovely belly bands that we can now decorate however we want. I kind of like that with that other little paper on there. These are fine like they are because now I want to add some lace. So the question is, do we want to go up the sides or do we want to um, this one where I'm definitely going to be, be doing some um, ribbon across the bottom, I think, and maybe across the top. And then we could see about what else what images we want to use. I have a bunch of brand new, a brand new um, journal kit that I bought from Chevy Art Boutique. She has now gone Etsy instead of the private uh, club that she was. And so um, I bought her newest beautiful kit, stunning kit. And I haven't printed it yet because I'm very low on ink. And it's like 30 pages for the digitals. And beautiful, beautiful, um, not 30, not digitals, the, uh, what do you call them? Oh, come on, think, fussy cuts. And then there's the pages. And so, and that's another, it's like a 60 page, uh, 60 page kit. And I want to print it, but I'm super low on ink. I'm waiting for an ink delivery. I'm hoping one's going to show up today. Um, I forgot my password to my ink. Insta ink. So, 
I got to go look at my password so I can find out when I'm getting a delivery because it won't tell me unless I give it the password and I'm, I don't remember. I have so many, you know, and then my husband accidentally changed my password on some, on my YouTube account, which messed me up royal. So that's been just lovely. And then he messed up my email digital, I mean, my email password accidentally changed that and I, we can't get into that so my email is a mess Ugh, it's always something I tell you he, he just I don't know what happened that day but it wasn't a good day for us that's for sure okay oh, we're getting older we don't read things as good as we used to and alrighty okay so that one has has fallen off my chair there no not to sit on the edge it's bad for you Okay, so that one has a little lace. Now these guys, what do they need? Let's get something else on there. Oh, I know, I, I, I did grab, like I wanted to add like a strip of the rose paper, maybe down one side and then add maybe some lace or something under that. Um, I was thinking that that would be good. So let's... I'll do a little but I think I might add on this I might add a little of the pink this is the um, Victorian velvet let me see yeah I love that that makes it nice and soft. Put some color in there. It's really pretty. We'll add that to this one. Ooh, or do we want it on this one? No, I want to keep that seal up there. So we'll we'll put we'll decorate from there down, right? Okay, we'll put some nice lace there. I kind of have an idea of what lace I'd like to put there, but we'll see. I always have music in my head. Isn't that funny? I'm not insane, I promise. I just love music and grew up with lots and lots of music. My mom used to turn on Ray Conniff. For those of you who are old enough, you might know who he is to get me to go to sleep for my nap time. She lay me down on the couch in the front room when I wouldn't take a nap in my bed and she would turn on Ray Conniff on the stereo and I'd be out like in seconds. Ray Conniff Jr., I think. No, Ray Conniff. And I would just go right to sleep. I just loved his music. I actually have some of his albums now. Hmm. I like this, but it's kind of bright. I would have to dull it down if I use it. But we only wanted to use a little bit, right? Didn't we? Okay, so let's let's uh, let's do this. I don't know if I'll finish any of these. I never do. You guys, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. So let's do let's do this first. This is from one of my, there are so many kids that use this print that I have. It's not even funny. I cannot believe how many digitals I have that have this print from different designers. I think because it's a um, copyright free image and everybody uses it in their work. It's one of my favorites though. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm not mad at all about it. Oh, I know one thing I don't want to see. I wish I had a good pair of decal cutter scissors. I've got, I mean, I have some that cut like jagged lines, but they're not really good looking. And sometimes they don't cut very well. So I don't want to use those. I, I like the Tim Holtz cutter so much. Yeah, I'm thinking we could put that there and then we'll figure out what else we want to add. I know I just went and glued this down and that wasn't very bright because I'm thinking I might have wanted to put some lace or something on under there, but maybe I'll just run a little lace up the side. That would work. I think this is the one I was thinking about putting lace down the side before I do anything else. Let me see if I have the lace I wanna use. I have some laces here I wanted to use. Let me see.
I'm trying to decide if I put that on there, where would I put the lace? Would I put that underneath the lace and then just like let it peek out and then have the lace go up all the way or part way? Hmm. That's pretty. So let's let's cut this off right here. I can cut it down for sure. Okay, let's put that back. Ugh. Getting low on my favorite laces. I think I have more of this on a big on a big card, but I'm not sure. I have to look it up. Now I just have to find the front and the back. I'm thinking I will put this down first. And then we'll add the lace to the top. What do we think? I think that'll be okay, right? Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm thinking. Can you see the steam coming out of my head? <laughs> Oh, hey guys, I have on the most beautiful shirt today. Hopefully you can see it. This is my Gail Augustinelli artwear shirt. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And if this is the short sleeve one. I have another one. I've got the other one, another one of Gail's. And I also have the matching sweatshirts to each of these because I loved these prints so bad, so much. So this is Gail Augustinelli, her artwear through her, her, um, website you can look it up it's on spring.com i believe for gail augustinelli but if you go to her uh her yeah her website you will find her favorite things and in there i think she has a whole i'm not exactly sure where but you'll find it and there's always an order if you follow her um gail augustinelli on youtube she always has a link to her uh merchandise and this is her artware and i love these two there's other ones too so um i grabbed these two for mother's day my husband um i don't know which side i like better my husband bought them for me for mother's day bought me two sweatshirts and two t-shirts and it is 91 today so it's a t-shirt kind of day you know um but in the morning it's chilly sometimes so and if i have the air conditioning on too much then yeah i'll be wearing the sweatshirts even in the summer I usually like to wear little knit dresses all summer. Um, I don't wear a lot of t-shirts, but I didn't really have any that I really liked. So maybe this year I'll do more. I need to get some new pants for summer too. Everything's too big. I lost 17 pounds, so yay. Mandatory. Doctor wanted that, that weight off there. So I need to still lose more, but for now I'm happy with it because now nothing fits. I know that I'm happy. It's because nothing fits. Um, so what do we need? We need to put something on these. I'm going to look. I'm trying to think about what focal points do I want. I have so many pretty little bits and pieces. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Um, oh, this one's pretty. I was looking to see what I could put on here, right? I have the bigger ones too, so maybe I should look at the bigger pictures. I have the little ones and I have the big ones. Um, do you think that's too big on, on the belly band? I don't think so. It does cover up a lot though. Hmm. Kind of liked it when it wasn't covering up quite so much picture you know i almost feel like i could put like a couple on like one there and maybe one up here i know i'm covering that seal aren't i let's see a little of it put one there and one there and make them like into a little tuck so you could stick a little something on there i do like that 
except these are already made uh, as cards, you know, for tucking. So I don't want to, what I do want to do is I do have them almost cut. So let's pick some images. Ah, the box just popped open. Mm. Mm, I love that one. Anybody know what I'm looking for? Oh, my scissors. My goodness. I do have some that have not been backed yet with, with cardstock. I don't want to use my cardstock papers that are all backed to, to make a uh, focal point. Right? Do you get it? I just feels like I want to keep those to stick in pockets and fill things with decorate and stuff like that. I think I want to. Okay, so I was thinking about a big one here. But I did like this one and what was the other little one that I really liked? Yeah, I love that. I love that. What was that other one I really liked? Was it this one? I want to find the little ones over here, the matching ones that I can glue on. Does that make sense? I hope so. Ah, no. Where did it go? There should be one more. Where is the other one that looks like that? That's not it. Oh, there it is. Hello, anybody home? Let's use the brain. Here it is. Here it is. Ah! I munched that one. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay, so we would do that. Put that back in the box because those are backed. And then I need the little one with the um, right here. Um, sorry guys, I went into my head again. I went to my happy place and I forgot to come out. Whoops, I left you all on the outside. So sorry. Okay. So I'm thinking where to go. Where's the one I was gonna do that with? Oh yeah, I was gonna do that, not that. Um, I was going to go like there and then And then I was going to go there. And I was going to put two on there to create kind of a little, like, tuck spot. And then you could still see the roses that are there. And you could still see a little bit of the seal. You just can't keep it all. I mean, you want to, but you just can't. You know what I mean? So, this is a, um, a light cardstock. Uh, so, it's it's still getting, it's still on cardstock, just not the real heavy-duty stuff that I have the others on. Then you have the air conditioner on and my glue is acting accordingly. It's being very stubborn. And then let's go like this. Like where's where was that going? Up here. So my tuck would be there and there. Okay, so I want to do this side. I put my thumb where I don't want to glue. And I believe this paper came from Graphics Fairy, um, the uh, document pages. 
uh, from Graphics Fairy, from her premium kit under, I'm not sure what, ephemera maybe? Um, I'm not really sure. But, uh, so you, if you're a member of that site, oh, I really love this. That would be pretty on there, wouldn't it? Well, let's see about cutting it out. Um, do I want to cut the whole thing or do I want to leave it as a cabinet card? Let's see. We'll do it this way first and then we'll see how we like it. See how we like it. There's a song like that, How We Like It. I don't even want to, from the 80s or something, I don't know. I'm putting just the barest hint of the Victorian velvet on there, just to get rid of the white. I don't know where that came from. What? what that's from another project. <laughs> Why is that there? What's going on? Now, would I want to make this like a double belly? Like put it down and so you could tuck like a little small, you know, something in there. Seems like we could, doesn't it? But I know something I want to do first before I put that on. I want to add a small amount of lace. Let me find my, one of my laces. Let's see, I have a couple different kinds here. Let's see, what do we want to put on there? Mm, maybe this one, I'm thinking this one. The question is, do I want it on like the very edge, like down here or here? Mm. Glad you guys can't answer me because by the time you do, it will be done. So then we would put this on there or do we want to put it over here? Hmm. Well, we could do both, right? So let's put a little glue. I should have left it upside down. It's got an air pocket in it. It's giving me fits today. Just the smallest air pocket. Turn it upside down into my jar. I'm gonna cut this off so I'm not dragging the cart around. It's drying fast, I think because the air conditioner is on. Um, it's just drying like super duper quick. All right, and then let's, let's add another line right here. I can never have too much lace. Let's go here. Well, thanks for coming over and hanging out with me today, you guys. I'm just hanging in my craft room crafting. Not working on any big projects right now. I just don't dare start any. I really have a lot of things to finish. So I'm working on ephemera that can go into future journals and projects. And I have some projects in mind. I just don't have them ready to go yet, you know. But the time is... Oh, I don't like that corner. Uh, the time is fast approaching when I will do the projects. Uh, I need to make a um, folder, and um, I wanted to do that on one of the... It's just something simple, but um, I wanted to kind of do the folder for some of this stuff. So the more stuff I get made, the better, because then I can just put the, sho the shoulder, the folder together, you know. So I'm going to move this out to the edge. I'm going to put it on. Now, these are Sam Pools. This is her new peony. Um, photos, cabinet cards. Um, love them. I'm just totally, completely, absolutely crazy in love with them. And I have some little numbers I want to put on here. 
or maybe um, one of her words. Let's see, do I have the word Paris for this one? I thought I saw a little pink Paris on here. Um, well, there's a Paris. It's not pink, but I like it. And these are Sam Poole's, um, her, her snippets. I'm not affiliated with her, meaning I don't, I'm not on her design team or anything. We follow each other on Instagram, but I'm not, you know, on her design team or anything like that. And she doesn't send me anything. I just love her work. I'm a huge fan of her and um, Ruby and Pearl and Teresa Sparkle. There's a whole bunch of them that I just adore their work and follow them every way I can, YouTube. Instagram, whatever. And that's why sometimes I don't always know who I saw a project from because I watch a lot of them like usually one after the other when I'm looking for inspiration. And of course, because I'm looking for inspiration, I find their newest kits. <laughs> so, Maybe I could do that. I like that. Um, let me get a little bit of ink on this. These are my Tim Holtz numbers that I um, stamped onto vintage antique book page. Not vintage antique. Why don't we do this? I am going to run out of time here pretty quickly, so to get at least one done now the one thing that has to happen which i haven't done yet is we need to make some um journaling tags to go inside those because i think that's what's going to have to go in there so i would say i would probably as soon as i glue this on i will cut some and then we'll have to maybe make them in another video or I'll just make them off camera and show you what I made to go in it um, there I like that I'll probably add some buttons or something to the front of this little belly band but now I've made it a double belly or did I yeah oh it's stuck to the to the lace I'm like whoa whoopsie Let's see we've got a double belly band this will be a little whoops this will be a little belly band here and then this will be a belly band you know you'll be able to have something slide through there so um, as you could see let me put a few things away I love this vintage lace on here oh my it's so pretty it's just pretty on here really gave it the right touch but I feel like it needs a little something else I'm thinking right here maybe one of my um, vintage buttons but let me cut some something for tags. I pulled it off my desk. Where is it? Oh, okay. This is my 110 pound cardstock. And I'm thinking that two and a half would probably fit in there. This is eight inches eight and a half inches wide. So I'm thinking, hopefully it'll go in the paper cutter. Oops, I did not mean to give that a rough edge. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oopsie. Let's try this again. Okay. So what I'm thinking is for these, it's going to go inside. See, and it just sticks up at the top there a little bit. So I'm thinking, and of course I'm going to decorate this, but I thought I would just show you. Let's see if this is going to fit in my little two and a half inch. Oh, mm. 
Oh, pretty, huh? Love it. Love it. So that's what I was thinking for the top. And then what I may do is stamp on it and decorate it, you know. And then it would go inside of this. So this is a pocket belly band. Like that. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Now, where's the one we just finished? Oh, we're finishing. This one. Okay, just like that. And what I want to do is I want to get out... Where did my little plate go? I had a plate on my desk. I a plate. I want to find a little button to go. I wanted to find a little button to go on here. Something sort of kind of like it there. Is that some part of the button? No, I guess so. Okay, so we have that button, or we could do a smaller one. Let's see. Mm -mm. Funny, sometimes I pick up a button and it's like that is the only button that will do. I'll go with that one for now. Let's pull that off to the side. I'm always working with buttons, you know that. This one's not done yet. But I do want to finish this one with you guys right now. So let me see if I have any. I just need the tiniest bit of this cheesecloth. Well, you guys, I really appreciate you hanging with me today. Sorry I'm a little quiet, but... I was in the mood to get some crafting done. Thought I'd invite you in. Figured you could do some crafting while you were listening to me ramble around. And get some things done on our desk today. I really have a lot on my desk. that I have a bunch of different projects that I want to do. And if you'd like, I will turn on the camera and share what I'm making. Um, I have a cute envelope project. You know me and envelopes. Um... One is a junk mail and one's a new one. So I'm going to show you, you know, using two different things. But it's a little envelope booklet. And, um, you know, just a little one that goes inside your journals. These are these are all pieces to go in your journal. And I need to make a couple. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll invite you in for that. And I, what else do I have on my desk here? Hmm. Lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff on here. So there you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now this one, I will keep working on these. These need to have some words and snippets and whatever I can find, you know, to put on those. Let me check my time, guys. I think we're at an hour. Um, No, we're not. Okay. I swear my husband tells me a short amount of time so I won't do a long video. <laughs> he gives me the time, you guys. I think it's because it takes so long sometimes to upload. And if it's a short video, <clears throat> it uploads so fast. And he loves that. Can't say I blame him. You know, he's the one sitting there doing it for me. So it's not like I want to argue much, you know. I feel like I need that a lace that's a little bit lighter than that. That seems a little... What else have I got? I'm looking at my, my laces up here. I, I've added, done a quite a bit of shopping lately for new embellishments. Because I'm tired of creating with the same old laces and ribbons i mean i love what i have but i want some different things so let me this is one i haven't created with so it's actually out of my stash I've had in my stash for years and years i'm cutting off the um there we go so i was thinking if i put a little bit of that on there and maybe then a word yeah move it up a little. There we go. We could do that. Yep, 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 yep. Yupper pupper. Let me see. That's cute. Let's move it up into this black line here. All right, this line right here I don't care for, so we'll, we'll just cover that up a little bit. And we can add a word, or we can add a button, or we can add a flower. Oh, I have some flowers I could put there. Yep. See, I think I cut a piece enough for down here that I, it looks like I did. So let's do that. Oh my goodness, got a mess. And let me go like this. 
it's funny, I'll, I'll look up at the camera and I'll see I have more time. So then I end up going way over. He really should give me the right time because then I end up just, it's like I'm trying to steal time then. <laughs> Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. It's like, hello. Did you leave my desk without permission? Yeah, let's put that up there. Oh, I think I went a little crazy there. I don't think we need quite that much lace. Get, come on, get back there. Mm, I'm enjoying my, I just love this so much with the lace and the buttons and the pearls and the vintage paper, lo vintage looking papers. I don't own any vintage papers, but maybe someday I'll have some. I have a little bit, but not enough, you know. So I have been shopping uh, digitals again, but all vintage looking, all vintage digitals. Digitals that are made from real vintage documents not things that are just random things coming off the internet, but from these gals who this is part of their private collection. So, you know, they um, actually own the digital, the things that they turn into digitals that they sell to us. And I love that because I can't afford to go get all that stuff and I don't have access to it. These gals are in Europe. So some of them live in England and they, th this is, they have that stuff or they live in um, Italy or, Australia or someplace where they're getting these lovely Vienna where they're getting all these lovely things you know that I don't have access to and so I'm so excited to use their digitals because they're very different than what I usually work with and I'm having such a good time I have to tell you I love it like these these are just making my day every time I pick one up I, I love these these are just fabulous they give me lots of fun things to play with. Oh my goodness, I'm just enjoying it so much. I mean, I have a few old things, but not enough. I'm just making messes everywhere. Okay. Let's get a little ink on this. Since it's not, I mean, it's scanned from an original document, but I want to make it look more original. Okay, so I want to add a little, I like the numbers on here with the, against the words, super cute. Plus I think it's gonna need some buttons or pearls or a flower. Oh, I did say a flower, didn't I? Did I say a flower? I think I did. I was thinking maybe, oh, if I don't have them buried here, I have buried everything. You know how I am when I'm working. Yeah, I know how it is when I'm working. Um, I cannot get that off my desk. Okay, I went as far off as I could go. I was thinking I would add um, maybe one of these flowers to give some more dimension. No, I don't like it on that one, but I might like it over here somewhere. I mean, I know we have the peonies, but we could put it in between. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty. I like that. And I could just, if it's a little too bright, I can just put a little ink on it. Put it in the middle. Let's see if I have one that's a little more pink than purple. Let's, oops, oops, oops. I mean, pink than, light pink than hot pink. Here's one. Let's see which one we like better. No, I like that one. Okay, so I'm going to put there. That's what's going there. And maybe I'll just put it. So this one's a little fancier than the other one. Some of them are a little more simple. And some of them are a little more fancy. I like it this way. Yeah, just a little bit. I just love it picks up the pink, the dark pinks, and the light pinks, and the peonies. Love these. That's my next favorite flower too, roses. I haven't been able to grow them in my yard. I, I kill them. I think my yard just is too hot, so I do well with roses, but not. Now, these are tucks right here, so we can definitely stick a real, I mean, a real, not a card of some kind. Let's see, what have I got? Like, I could take one of these cards that's not already there and tuck it in. Oh, those are too big. Well, not that same one, but... I can tuck some little cards in there. I'll see what I have else, but what other ephemera I have to put in there um, later, you know. 
but I think that needs a pearl. And then I think I'm about done for today, guys. I think I'll wrap this video up. Go play some more on my desk. I could turn the camera back on again, but it is getting late in the day. I think it's after three already. Done a number of videos today so that I would have videos for you this week. And then we will see you next week. I don't know what we'll be working on. Maybe this new folder that I wanna do. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's just something that I wanna to use to hold all these pieces. I want to have something to put all these lovely pieces in. So, um, I want to create something to put them in, something simple maybe, I don't know. I know that's all over my thumb, all right. Well, you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fabulous, fantastic three-day weekend. I hope to see you Monday, which is a holiday for those of you in the US, and so hopefully you'll have time to watch the video with me and hang out in my studio and we'll play on that day. And um, you guys take it easy and I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.